So I'm Chris Galicia. I work at Las Ramblas uh, here in Brownsville, Texas. I've been in the industry for over 10 years now. And so this project that we're putting together actually wanted to do for quite some time now, industry nights. So essentially what we're doing is we're highlighting some of the figures in the industry, whether it's bartenders, owners, managers, you name it, and um, taking them out whether it's a night or an entire day and having them show us their favorite spots because I mean several reasons but the main one being is that one of the questions that we get asked a lot I guess mainly behind the bar or even like chefs is where do you go what do you like to eat uh, what do you drink what do you do on your night off and so essentially what this project is is answering all those questions and giving people a behind the scenes look at what it's like to have a night off as somebody who works in the industry. For the first one, we picked um, these two dudes here in Brownsville who are pretty, pretty well known in the industry and also uh, just amongst you know people here in the downtown area. Um, the Zertuche brothers. So <laughs> Francisco Zertuche and Oscar Zertuche. Uh, and for those of you that know them, the reason why we picked them was because they're almost polar opposites and we thought it would be extremely fun to get them together in an episode, the first episode, and see what would happen on a whole day with them. So essentially that's what you're going to see in the next, say, 12 minutes of film. So strap on. <laughs> Okay, well, my name is Oscar Sertuche, border towns of Brownsville and Matamoros. I grew up on both sides of the border. I currently am an insurance agent as well as, well, I, I guess I, I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> so I'm an insurance agent. I also uh, grow, um, I have, a, I guess, a small microgreen business where I sell to a couple of restaurants. And currently I'm working on opening up a uh, restaurant bar here in Market Square as well, in Brownsville, Texas. I was a server for about seven, eight years, you know, all the way through college. It's something about that life though, man. I mean, I guess I'm going back to it now, opening up, trying to opening up a place on my own. Um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I am Francisco Cerduche, this guy's brother. <laughs> I currently work at Las Ramblas. I also do graphic design. I like where the industry's going here in Brownsville right now. We're at a point where like it's growing and it's going in a good place because I feel like everybody's like doing small concepts that are really cool. That's something that Brownsville needed. Same here. I guess we're trying to do something new for everybody as well. I like it because I think it, it also, I mean, it's something that we also kind of need. I mean, a lot of people don't, don't know, you know, about the places, you know, that you can go to. And I think most of the time when you're thinking like, hey, you know, what, what do we want to do tonight? Or where do we want to go eat? Or um, where do we want to go have a drink? That might be a little different. That might not be as, you know, like crazy loud where you can actually have a conversation with people and enjoy, you know, a little bit of a, of, of a uh, you know, a nice night out with uh, friends um, where you can actually have, you know, conversations and stuff. Your idea of, you know, trying to showcase also like the, the um, what it's like, you know, when you're in the industry and you you're, you're have that day off and and uh, what is that you do, you know, what are your places that you enjoy going, what what are your the places that, um, that you like going to, you know? I like it because I think it humanizes people in the industry. You usually see in a uniform or behind a bar or just doing like a certain job. And this just opens up, up for sharing like who they really are. We opened up with some shots of mezcal, a toast, <laughs> you know, started off the right way. Toma mezcal y come verduras y tendrás las nalguitas duras. And then we took us all to, um, our favorite place of the island. Okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> well, Padre Island Brewery is like a really small uh, restaurant slash brewery. What I like about it is just, you know, 
you go in, you uh, fill up your growler, and take it to your favorite spot. And I think that's cool just because, I mean, honestly, I mean, obviously in the past couple of years, uh, craft beer has, you know, become a pretty big you know, trend all over, all over, I mean, all over and, and the U.S. a lot, too. You know, just going, just going out there to the beach, that's one thing that, you know, we, we do very often in the summers. Or even during the year, man, if it's good weather, why not, you know? Well, at least for me, I always try and go all the way to the end of the road in, in South Padre and uh, on the north side. And then afterwards, you know, once the sunset is coming down, um, go hit the bay, which is one of the spots that we went to. And um, you, Would you say you hit the bay with your bay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have the name, but was there like a, Who had the Instagram I, first? Was there rock, paper, scissors? Entre más corriente, más ambiente. The what? It's funny because, like, I think I got that name from uh, when I was like in high school. And I used to listen to Mastercraft. Anybody familiar with Mastercraft? No. And Mastercraft. Like, <laughs> name just the two, the just the two camera people. And I thought it was cool. Anybody want dark beer? <laughs> or the light beer? <laughs> That's it, dude. What can I say? And then I saw, and I thought it was cool too. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> 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 You'd rather have a beach or a bay? I like. I prefer the bay. See what he did there. Oh, I see. Beach. After we ate the pizza, we decided we were gonna have a toast. And we just dumped <laughs> the Parmesan and the chili inside the box. We washed the ramekins with a uh, beer. <laughs> and then we took some nice shots in it. For me, at least, you know, it's, it's probably the best place to watch the sunset. <laughs> wait, wait. Are you a pa or are you a cup? I would consider myself more of a. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, there were supposed to be more yeah. of this too. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's, 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 Frank, that's Frank. That's Frank. That's what I mean. Oh, that's what I mean. Un clásico, that's all I'm going to say. So after the bay, we had some water cups in inside the car. You had some water cups inside the car. Yes, I had some water cups inside the car. And we were driving back to Brownsville and uh, Zach hit the brakes and I dropped my water cup all over the car. Again. Funny thing, the water smelled like beer, dude. But it was not beer, it was water. <laughs> all I'm saying, if you put a cup of water on top of a pizza box while the car is moving and you're not holding it. That's probably what's gonna happen. <laughs> what can I say? It's your sandwich, bro. All right. The Chico sandwich. I would call it the Grande sandwich, not Chico. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to uh, 1848. Um, 1848 is owned by Abraham. Great barbecue spot, and we went there to go build my famous sandwich, best hangover cure. So basically, we get a mix of moist and burnt ends, moist brisket, and sausage sandwich, and we get two sides, potato salad and mac and cheese, and the fixings, which are pickles and onions, and the sauce. What are you? juice of the sauce. Definitely the sauce. Step one, you put the potato salad in the bottom bun of the, of the sandwich, top it off with the brisket and sausage, put on some uh, mac and cheese on top, add the pickles and onions, and smother that shit with a barbecue sauce. Bun. And uh, then we got joined by Wendy. <laughs> See, I Wendy's think, a, I think Wendy's a change we needed that night, you know? Yeah. Wendy, Wendy brought she, a little bit of a, of some, actually, yes, that was a change we needed. 
that uh, helped uh, our friend uh, Sack. I would say the cherry uh, on top. Kind of, you know, simmer down on. <laughs> Just being Zach. So El Hueso del Fraile was probably like the first establishment in downtown that actually brought a little bit of the change we needed here. So it's a music venue slash coffee shop and they also have a really great selection of uh, agave spirits and other liquors as well. But I think their forte is a craft beer. Yeah, it's owned and, and run by the Fonserrada family. It's family musicians uh, that if you haven't heard, um, well, we really recommend you going by on a, on a Friday night or Saturday night when they're playing. Well, I think I had a barrel aged beer. Um, and we had some uh, mezcal flights. And, um, you know, just enjoyed the weather outside on the patio. I was starting, I mean, not starting, I don't know. I mean, I guess I was already, you know, fuzzy. And then I guess we went to Ramblas after that. Yeah, so we, we yes. came to, after Hueso, we, we, we went to Ramblas. Uh, Ramblas is owned by the Limas Brothers. Las and, Ramblas. And Las Ramblas, yeah, it's, and it's uh, owned by the Limas Brothers. And, so they, what they brought to downtown was a little bit more of a, of an upscale, uh, uh, you know, cocktail bar. Um, they, they make all of their drinks, you know, from scratch, and and they really put their hearts into it and and, and, uh, and their creative minds. Um, and I think they, um, they're just another piece of the pie in, in, in the downtown. Though. So it was, it was, it was a fun night, you know, just uh, getting to hang out and uh, and to. To just you know experience what what we experience, you know on a, on a you know regular day out, you know when 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 we have a day off or when we want to take a time off, and uh, just being able to drive out there, taking us you know 30 minutes to get to the beach, um, and then being able to drive out in the same back you know the same day, I think that's just a blessing you know the, to to be able to do that, um, and even more I mean we we have we definitely have the best beach in you know in Texas man and our host Chris Galicia which, uh, you know, was the, the brains behind this whole idea. And, and, and I think uh, it's a cool start, you know, for something, something French. I mean, that's one thing I feel like here in Bronzeville, man, that's changing, you know, that, that people are starting to take risks and, and, and to try and, 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 you know, think a little bit out of the box and, and do things that, um, that you know, that, that might help our community in, in different ways. You know, it's, it's a positive thing for sure, you know. And I think that's one thing that we, we kind of have to continue doing and not lose sight, you know, of what we want to do and, and the kind of things that we want to create in our environment. I'll never drink champagne again. <laughs>